guys, I left my camera in the truck. Gotten turned around. Uh, just exploring. I've never been here. This is a new property for me. Uh, let me turn the camera around so I can show you where I'm at. Uh, there we go. I'm in a swamp. I hunted this morning. That big magnolia tree over there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a giant magnolia. Boy, that'd be a great spot to put a tree stand up. Looks like pigs have been in here. Looks like they got this rooted up over here. Oh wait, there's a there's a stand right there on that tree. All right, well maybe not. Pigs rooted all that up over there. All right, um, not sure where I'm at, guys. I don't want to go by their hunting area. Let's go this way. Make sure that I probably got a camera up somewhere. I'm looking. I just don't want to walk in front of somebody's camera. That looks like a uh, this year's tree stand. There's got to be a camera there somewhere. If there is, I'm not seeing it. I don't want to get up there. Get someone mad at me. See? may have hunted this morning or they may be coming to hunt. I'm gonna stay up here, okay. Risen, uh, yuck. Bird poop just landed on my hand. World. Put my hair. All right, the highway's that way. Awesome. Okay. Got my bearings now. I didn't bring my compass, and I always have my compass. I want to make sure if there's a camera that I'm avoiding it. Because you don't know what they're doing, you know. They could be doing illegal stuff right there. And the game warden finds it, and they check the camera, and they got me on camera. It's that way. So I need to head this way. And it's just kind of hard to tell the direction I'm going right now. There's some big magnolia trees in here. And I was hoping to find a magnolia tree. I can put a tree stand on or a ladder stand. Magnolias make really good um, trees to use for stands. Okay, I'm in. All right, this is actually a creek. I know where I'm at now. Yeah, this is a creek. Um, these are old, old. We're going to come back and take these boards here. When they tore the bridge down in the 80s, they rebuilt it with a concrete bridge. This is the original timbers they used back when they first built the bridge. This was a long, long time ago. But those timbers are, they're probably 
two and three quarter inches thick and uh, nine inches wide maybe. They're oddball size. I don't remember exactly what they were. We did measure them. Chris and I found them and there's a bunch of them. Looks like when they tore the bridge down, they just dropped them in the water because they're all out, all out in there. There's a tire over there too. Normally, we haven't had rain in, uh, she was a month and a half, maybe, maybe longer. And so, all of these little creeks, there's another timber right there. All these little creeks are dried up. This swamp usually holds water. I've been in this swamp, not right here, I've been in here twice with Chris both times and uh, there's another timber but that's how we found the timbers we followed the creek from the highway back woodpecker um, but this creek um it is a named creek and it goes for miles back here and it ties into the river. And I have hunted from the river uh, back toward where I'm at now. I've probably, I've hunted probably two miles of the, of this creek. And it has always had water in it. I've never seen it like this. And I hunted that back when, uh, not long after I got my license and I was legal to drive. I've harvested a lot of meat off this creek. There's an old jug. Is that an old one? Yep. Oh, spider web in the mouth. It's an old one, but it's broke at the top. It's got the threaded top on it. I found an old um, milk jug back here, an old glass milk jug. And it was in fantastic shape. And uh, one of Chris's family members, older family member was with us. And he flipped out when he seen it, so I gave it to him. And it's just a material item. I'd love to have had it, but he's a collector of stuff like that. And he flipped out when he seen it, and I said, well, I love it. I've never found one before, not a whole one. But I wasn't in love with it the way that he was, so I let him have it. It's trash, there's a cooler over there. As I'm filming with my phone, so I'm sorry if the audio is all goofy and the video is not good. I got my cameras, but they're in the truck. I don't know what I was thinking. I got out and I'll tell you what happened. I got out of the truck Got my cameras, the batteries, got all my stuff on the seat. Getting everything together and my phone rang. And I got a phone call and I, I done locked all the doors to the truck except for the door, the passenger door where I was at at the time I received the call. I need to get on the other side of that tree. But um. Anyhow, I just, I got sidetracked, that's all there is to it. And I walked away and it didn't even dawn on me that I left the camera. Until I got off in this swamp. I got about 100, 150 yards off in the swamp. And I wasn't gonna go back. There was a lot of them hitchhikers. Um, what the? Old timers call it beggar lice. It's a weed and the seed on it. Looks like a elongated 
grain of wild rice. It's black. It's got two prongs at one end. And if you get close to it, it'll stick in your clothing. And it is a nightmare to get that mess out. And it's on the side of the highway up here. That stuff is everywhere. I mean, it is literally everywhere. Let's see where the pigs are coming here. Oh, this property that I'm at, I wasn't able to hunt yesterday afternoon because our water heater burned up literally. And so I've been trying to repair it. We just, we don't have the money to buy a new one in there like 600 bucks and we definitely don't have that so where the pigs rooted all this up um i couldn't hunt yesterday afternoon when chris and his stepdad daniel went hunting and daniel messaged me man i just i just shot a big old hog a group of wild hogs come in and I got one, I got one. And, you know, he was all kind of excited. And while I was replying to him, Chris called me. Chris said, man, you ain't gonna believe this, but I just got a huge wild hog. <laughs> what happened, Chris was, uh, it was in this swamp, but way down. He was set up uh, wherever it was. He, I don't know where he was sitting, but he was set up down there somewhere. His dad, his stepdad, was on the other side of the highway about a mile back. And it's archery season. So it's uh, bow and arrow. And both of them shoot regular bow. They don't shoot crossbow. <clears throat> well, they came in on Daniel. And they just come up the hill, and he said, man, there was every size, every color. There was 30 or 40 of them. When they got up within range for his bow, 20 yards, he loaded an arrow and sent an arrow down at one, and he hit it. Perfect shot, and it dropped. It was one of them rare shots. Pigs don't just drop normally, but... He got a perfect shot on him. Oh, that's a pretty piece of plank right there. And it's wide too, look at that. These are them dry coat boots, you guys. And they are absolutely every bit as good as what I mentioned in the review. Man, I love these things. But anyhow, um, size 13, just to give you an idea how big that plank is. Um, but Daniel shot that pig and they took off. He reloaded and was about to shoot another one, but the, the little ones were right there on top of him. He says some of them were, were little babies, some of them were 30, 40 pound babies. But he wanted one of the bigger ones. And um, the bigger ones took off in the woods and the little ones all followed suit. Well, they hit the swamp they traveled this swamp and went right straight into where Chris was at. Daniel got a beautiful white, black and white spotted sow. Beautiful pig, about 200 pounds. Chris got a, a smoky colored boar. A big, Big ol' heavy boar. But they got him at the processor right now. I think right here's where I need to come out at. I think. Anyway, I'm just looking, you guys. Uh, We got at the house, at our new house. They came and put the well pump in place, so we got a new well pump. And they came and uh, 
they connected the well pump to the house and they connected the septic system. Now the septic's not done. They still have to clean it out and put new field lines on it and get it inspected. So, you know, we are a step closer, but we're not where we need to be yet. I just want to get moved out before more stuff falls apart and we just ain't got it to make the repairs. Yeah, this is getting expensive. I didn't even notice this ridge right here. I don't know if you can see, there's a big holly tree right there. Uh, there's a two below. An oak, pine. I'm gonna walk on this ridge, see what's in here. It's kinda early, I came down early. I just couldn't sit no more. 9.30 this morning, my back was hurting me so bad. So I just... Heard something take off. Um, I just got my stuff and got down. I didn't see anything today. Except squirrels. I didn't see any. Any does, any fawns, any yearlings, I didn't see anything. Well, this ridge is pretty right here. Wish they had a big old magnolia tree on here. That'd be the spot to set up. Boy, it's pretty right here. Anyhow, yeah, um, I just wanted to update y'all on the house and make sure everyone's doing okay. We've got articles to share. Uh, one of them's got quite a few pictures. It's the last, this whole past week, when I get home in the, in the afternoon, um, I'm working on the water heater all night. And I just time I get done I go straight to bed we had no hot water and I cannot handle a cold shower I got too much hardware in my spine and once it gets cold um, yeah it's a bad day after that One thing I haven't been looking for in here is um, hornets, hornet nest. I'm surprised I haven't walked on one. I have a habit of doing that. Oh, I'm right on the road. Yep, yeah, there's a car. Good deal. I think my truck should be right to there. Should be across the highway. But uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna get out of here. I just wanted to. Throw a short video up, a uh, check-in video, show you where I'm at today. I am hunting today, and I will be hunting uh, this afternoon. Man, it's so pretty in here. But I don't see a lot of sign of um, game other than pigs. And I'm not looking to set up on pigs. <clears throat> pigs in Florida you can hunt pigs year round on private land uh, oh I almost went down crud I got caught on that vine and I went to grab something I grabbed that vine which is thorns thorns my fingers <sighs> Gee whiz. but anyhow I am going to go to the truck I gotta go get, uh, oh, my truck is, it's right there. I can barely see the roof of it. Um, I'm gonna run up to the store and fill my water bottle. Normally I've been waking up late and I'm forgetting stuff. I woke up at two o'clock this morning and plenty enough time to remember everything, but I'm so tired as brain's not functioning. 
You guys, y'all have a wonderful afternoon. Be blessed in all you do. And uh, I will try to post a notification up ahead of time when we go to do the live show that we're going to share the articles on. I just can't promise that it's going to go through. I don't know if StreamYard started deducting from my credit card again or not. I paused it for three months so I could try to get called up. If they did, then I can... Uh, I can put a notification on StreamYard and it'll post it on YouTube for me. But if I do it through YouTube Live, I'm just, I don't know how to post a notification ahead of time on there. I've tried and what it does is it, it logs you on live, but with your camera turned off. And so the whole time it's a live show with no camera feed and no sound and people get on it waiting for you and uh, you're not there. But I'll figure it out. Y'all have a good day. God bless you. I love you. And I'll absolutely see you guys again soon. I'm going to go get some water. I'm hot. Take care. Be safe and be blessed. And we'll see you down the road. Bye-bye. There's the roof of my truck shining through the bushes. There's the beggar lice, you guys. Right here. That's beggar lice. That stuff would get in your pants. You can't get it off. I'm trying to lay it down so I ain't walking through it. <clears throat> this entire hill is loaded with that mess. All right. <laughs> see if I can do that. I don't have a change of pants with me. I have shirts, I have plenty of shirts, just no extra pants. So if I get these things right here, if I get them on me, <clears throat> the only way to get them off is to cut them. Oh my Lord, they are everywhere. Good grief. Golly. Oh, I just hit my arm with them. I got them in my arm. They don't hurt. They're not sharp as far as breaking your skin. But they absolutely stick to your clothes like a magnet. God, they're everywhere. And they're getting worse. All right, guys, let me get out of here so I can pay attention. I don't want this garbage all over me. Bye-bye.